I found this old table saw under my house. Attached to it was this old rusty motor. The nameplate was too corroded for me to make out where it was from, but I figured I'd try to get it running anyways. I started by soaking the pulley and chassis, nuts and bolts, with penetrating fluid. I did this multiple times over the course of a few days. The chassis separated from the end caps fairly easily, but the inside was caked with dirt. After getting rid of the dirt, I had my work cut out. As you can see, the commutator needed to be resurfaced, and the brush plate was in pretty bad shape. I started by cleaning the chassis with a wire wheel and hitting it with some clear paint. I soldered new leads onto each set of stator windings. The stator is wired as shown here in the picture. I also checked resistance between each set of windings and ground, respectively. I resurfaced the commutator with 600 grit aluminum oxide sandpaper and cleaned it up with a bit of rubbing alcohol, just to expose mostly fresh copper. I found a new 50mm garter spring from orringsandmore.com, and while it's not the same size as the original, it seems to work just fine. The main chassis and rotor cleaned up pretty well. I completely disassembled the brush plate. All of the old springs were seized with rust, but thankfully there was plenty of lights still left in the brushes. I didn't want to try to separate the brushes from the swing arms because I didn't trust myself to not break them as they're very delicate. I made new torsion springs out of .045 music wire. A quick sandblast made the brush plate and brush swing arms look almost new again. The plastic bushings that separated the swing arms and brushes from the brush plate were brittle and had to be destroyed to remove the old brush springs. I made new ones from 5 16 plastic dowel rod. Here is the brush plate reassembled. To the right is all the springs that didn't quite work out. Before final reassembly, I seated the brushes by wrapping the commutator with 600 grit sandpaper, with the grit facing out to make contact with the brushes. I then placed the finished brush plate on the commutator and rotated it about 40 times in the natural direction of rotation. This helped to make a leading and trailing edge on each brush face so they would make good contact with the commutator. Time to reassemble and give it a test run. Okay, he's gonna try and power it up. Alright! Last but not least, I put a small terminal block inside the original junction box. I also wired a ground to the motor under the junction box screw that holds it to the chassis.